Who makes the strongest V8 engines? Is it Porsche or is it BMW? Well, in this video, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna empty the oil out of both of these cars and then I'm gonna run the engines until they explode. And we'll see which one lasts the longest. Will it be the one in the KN or the one in the X5? Let's do this. Buy, sell, car, wow. You might be thinking, why the heck are you destroying two perfectly good cars? You know, someone could use those. Well, actually, no. You see, we've already used these vehicles for an off-road video, which involved Yanni. And Yanni got carried away. Oh, no! Ah! And he did all this damage to my car, and he did that damage to that car over there. It was all his fault, and I was just driving carefully. <laughs> the long and the short of it is, these cars aren't roadworthy. They need to be scrapped. And so we just thought we'd do this test before they are scrapped, because it's fun. Let me tell you about the engines on these cars. Here we have the BMW 4.4 litre Natchez aspirated V8. It puts out 286 horsepower and 440 newton metres of torque. It drives all four wheels via a six speed automatic gearbox. Well, it does normally, though so the one on this car has been damaged when Yanni got a bit airborne and landed on top of a rock, so all the oil drained out of it. So this car doesn't move anymore. I'm afraid, but the engine still works fine. The Porsche has a 4.5 litre naturally aspirated V8 with 335 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. Once again, it drives all four wheels via a six speed automatic gearbox, and the gearbox in this car does actually work, though the rest of the car is a little bit unroadworthy. Let's have a little listen to this V8 in the Porsche Cayenne. So, start it up. Starts really sweetly, straight to a nice level idle, but we've got a fault. Oh, it's an airbag fault, nothing to do with the engine. Oh. Looks like a soft limiter around 4,000 RPM. I'm gonna feel quite bad about destroying it. Time for the BMW. Will it start as well as the Porsche did? Here we go, come on BMW. Yep. Once again, straight into a smooth idle. Seems like a good engine. Let's give it some revs. Oh, this sounds better. And there's no soft limiter. I think there's a hole in the exhaust though which makes it sound good. However, there is a way to make these old BMWs sound good and not have a hole in the exhaust. Check this out. So this is a facelifted version of that other X5 that I'm gonna blow the engine up in. It has an evolution of the engine on that car, but it's been bored out because this is the 4.8 IS. That's not really gonna affect the sound that much, but what does is doing a resonator delete on it and a cat delete, which has happened to this car. You can do this to the blue X5 and it'll sound pretty much the same as this does. So go on, start it up. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so Right, that's enough of that. That's the beauty of V8s. They sound amazing. But what will its death rattle sound like? Now, before I break the engine in this old X5, I'm gonna have a little bit of a route about inside it to see if there's any bits that I can salvage. You see, I bought my own Mark 1 E53 BMW X5. It needs a few bits and pieces. What, what can I get out of this? I wouldn't mind the interior. I quite like a light interior, me. Now, if you want to see more about my own car, the one that I bought, you can watch a video of it where I've actually taken it to BMW and they've given it a once over, given it an inspection to actually grade it. Click on the pop-out banner up there if you want to see that video. It's actually on my own personal channel, Matt Watson Cars. I'm already there. Make sure you subscribe to it. I couldn't actually find any bits I wanted on this. So I think it's about time it died. Same with the KN. Let's drain the oil. A few moments later. We've now drained the oil out of these cars and <laughs> it was pretty nasty stuff. So from the BMW X side, the oil was so dark and gloopy and it had loads of crud in it, load of carbonisation. Thought it was bad. And then we saw the oil out of the KN and it was like some kind of primordial swamp. It was horrendous. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is remove the oil filler caps yeah, and the dipsticks because that might, you know, give us a little bit of action on these cameras if they suddenly blow up. Just put that there. 
remove the Cairns dipstick as well, put that there. Now, what I'm going to do is set a timer on my phone and we're going to time how long they take to die. I'm going to start the stopwatch now and then gentlemen, I want you to start your engines. Three, two, one, go. Stop, stop, cut, 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 cut. That's not starting. Battery's gone. I've got a spare battery here, so let's connect it up to the car. Mm. One. Where's the earth? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh God, all oh, sparks. There we go. Let's see if that works. Let's try again, shall we? So here's the timer. Ready, gentlemen? Start your engines in three, two, one, go. No, <laughs> the X5's still not working. Right, we've got to try something else. Now I've added a jump pack in addition to the extra battery. Hopefully this will work. I'll just turn it on and we'll give it another go. <laughs> right, come on. Ready, gentlemen? Start your engines in three, two, one, go. No! Oh, what now? It appears this poor old X5 really doesn't want to die. It's refusing to start, but it's going to have to. I'm going to sacrifice it to the motoring gods. And I've actually enlisted the help of this newer X5 to get it going so that I can kill it. So what I'm doing is jumping it with this car. It's actually charging the battery. So I'm going to use this to charge the battery so that it's got enough power in it to actually start. I hope. One eternity later. Is he going to be third time lucky? I think this is charged now. So gentlemen, again, start your engines in three, two, one, go. Yes! I'm going to give them a minute or two, just ticking over with no oil in them. This is making a horrible noise already. Spitting out the remnants of the oil that are still on the timing chain. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh no, we're only up 32 seconds, 34, and this, oh, that's knocking. Oh, is this still going? The engine is fine, this, listen to this. Oh, is it gonna make the minute? Come on, come on, just a bit longer, you'll make a minute. This is definitely going to go fast. Let me just have a listen to the BMW. Fine. Oh, <laughs> the noise. One minute 17. We're still on tick over. It's going to do two minutes, I think. Come on. That's so loud. It's actually making me deaf. BMW purring away like a kitten. Gonna do two minutes. I think we should up the ante. We're gonna rev them to 2,000 RPM. Right, guys, rev to 2,000 RPM. 2,000 RPM. Oh, this is rattling now as well. We'll give them a couple of minutes. I can't believe that's still going, it sounds awful. That's all right, a bit noisy. So we're coming to three minutes. This is all right, this sounds awful. There's a lot of oil leaking out of the BMW. Here we go, four minutes. Right, let's up the ante again. 3,000 RPM! 3,000 RPM! <coughs> oh, the smoke coming out the BMW! Who's going to go first? BMW or Porsche? It could be the BMW! No smoke from the Porsche! Oh dear, this is looking dodgy! We're coming up to five minutes. 
Look at all the smoke coming out the BMW. It's made it to five minutes. No smoke from the Porsche. Lots from here. Oh no, the BMW is going to die. I can hear it going. Is the BMW going to make six minutes? Okay, that's six minutes. We're going to up the ante again. 4,000. 4,000. Oh. Remember, this has a soft limiter at 4,000, so we've got to keep it even and fair. We are up almost seven minutes. Look at the BMW. Oh, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. It just made it just past seven minutes for the BMW. The Porsche has won. It's past eight minutes. If you want to see me blow up some other engines, Click on the pop-out button up there for the link in the description below to watch that video. Or just stay here to see how long it takes for the Porsche to blow up. We're past nine minutes. This is nuts. It's like revving itself. We're well past 10 minutes. Oh, it's smoking. That's the first sign of smoke I've seen from this car. And that's at 11 minutes. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, oh. It's just done 13 minutes. This doesn't want to die. Maybe if we put it under load. I've got an idea. How about if we drop the revs down and try brake boosting it? So now it's under load. It's having to work. It's at 14 minutes. That's got to kill it. Oh. Oh, oh. It's, look, it's, it's got loads of power. Brake boost it, that's it. We're going to try brake boosting it in reverse. Oh, oh. oh it's just brutal. We've done 15 minutes. I can hear metal against metal. Swim for 18 minutes with no oil. <sighs> Some people say these engines aren't reliable. This one seems to be a tough old nut. 22 minutes. We've got steam coming out there. 